Welcome back students. I haven't managed to see all of you in the same place at once yet and I'm not sure if I will. So here is a video to help you understand all things EE for you this semester. Please, please be proactive with your supervisor. Take the initiative, go and say hello, go and ask some questions about uh, what you've been doing recently, get some clarifications before the draft is given in, before you hand it in, okay? Lines of communication is an important, vital skill that you're developing, so practice it. Be proactive with your supervisor. Thank you. Now, typically every year or in the past years, we've opened up the library um, one Saturday before the draft and for two Saturdays before the final deadline. That's a bit more complicated this year. Uh, instead, I will offer my own type of clinic or services after school every day. Um, please drop by, please um, ask me your questions, MLA especially. Uh, you still need to see your supervisor for subject specific guidance, but every day after school, apart from Tuesdays because of my own other meetings, um, you're welcome to come in. My room can ho hold up to 24 students, so it's a medium sized classroom and I'm sure that's quite plenty. Um, if I'm not there, I will be there soon. If I'm not there, email me and I'll come back. But every day for the next two weeks leading up to the draft deadline, I'll be available. And for the two weeks leading up to the final deadline also. So please use that service. Okay, it's that time of the year. And uh, it's hard to believe that we began this process way back in October 2019 and almost a year later it's here. So on or before the 1st of September, 8 p.m. of 1st of September, you need to upload your draft, okay, your best draft. PDF with a works cited list, list upload it to manage back, please. Okay, we know when we convert things to PDF, sometimes the formatting changes, so check things over, okay. Talk to your supervisor. Um, if they are happy with you going over 4,000 words for the draft, every one of us has slightly different approaches, um, but it must contain a works cited list. Okay. You're then going to get feedback, so you should arrange a meeting for that feedback. It might last 30 minutes, one hour, it depends. You should be given lots of feedback and you can take notes and you can ask questions. That meeting is very much two way. Okay. You can bring questions to that meeting. But the window for the final deadline isn't until the 2nd of November. So it might appear from the 1st of September to the 2nd of November, you've got two months, but that's not entirely true because your supervisor needs time to read this. And if you hand it in late, which some of you might be tempted to do, that shortens and narrows the window for your uh, fixes up and improvements. Thankfully, we have built in the October holiday this year so although it's a holiday, you may like to use some of it to improve your EE. So that's beneficial. I think it's an opportunity. The final deadline is the 2nd of November, 8 p.m. And absolutely zero edits are allowed to your final EE once it's uploaded to the system. Please let that sink in. Small, big, or any changes to your EE not allowed once you've uploaded the final version. But that's not the very end of the process because if you can remember, we've still got a final reflection to write. That will be roughly 200 words and you need to have one final meeting. It's called the Viva Voce, Latin for living voice. And that will be the prompt to help you write your last reflection. As always, there's help online at the EE website for you. And I want that third reflection in the system before GCW. So that's roughly, I think, I think the 11th of December. But you must have your meeting in advance of that. And if you want your supervisor to check your reflection, it must be done quite a bit in advance of that deadline. So look at this list, 2nd of September, 1st of September, 2nd of November, 11th of December. And then we're all done. Super good. Congratulations it will be finished and you will be proud of your work. You'll look back at it in years from now and feel, wow, that was an achievement. 
I was a high schooler and I managed to get a really good essay out, a research essay. And the skills that you're learning now are super beneficial for academic work later on. So you take a moment to reflect upon that. The hard work that you've put in really will pay off. Congratulations, students. Go Panthers.